What's up guys, it is me, Chad Salsa. Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I decided I'm gonna do another interesting video. My last video kind of blew up. It was just me shooting some Nerf guns that I haven't shot in a while. So I figured I'd do the same, except I'll do with fans. So here's some fans that the channel hasn't seen in a while. Um, I got five here. I'm gonna run, show the, off the Toastmaster. It looks a little goofy because I've been running it overnight and this thing, I don't know why, out of all my fans, this one rattles the most. Um, and it rattles in many places, hence the tissues, gum wrappers, spare fan handles, and, uh, popsicle sticks I had to stick in there just to make it stop rattling, and it does stop. I also had to oil the motor and give it some grommets between that and the braces here. Um, that can be a pain. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, we'll start off with this, uh, KG3 here from 1981. So this is one year younger than my K223. Um, yeah, this is, like I said, this video is just like, here's some fans I'm gonna run, you know, check this out type of thing. It's not really a review or anything particular. Um, there's the color, Robin Egg, Baby Blue, whatever the heck it's called. Um, move it to the back. Got that McMillan Square Stater. Um, it still needs some work. But since it's winter right now, I can't really take it outside and do the full cleaning. And um, it needs it needs um, some some stuff. Um, but I can't do that when it's literally like twenty degrees outside. Um, so we'll um, start this one off on high. I just want to make sure I'm not hearing any buzzing or anything. Well, I think it's alright. I thought I heard something when I turned it on for high, but no, it's not. We'll run it back up to high. So you can see the completely elapsed spend down time. I'm gonna get this fan right over here. The spin down seems like it's gotten longer. The last time I ran it, it was kind of short, but um. Alright. Let's take care of this thing. One thing I do want to note is the plug, the prongs are bent inward, so it does really go easily in and out of an outlet, but it's probably not the best thing. Alright, next fan we're going to run is the 1998 Lasco 3733. And they're probably like, well, that's just a modern fan. Well, it's actually from 1998, and it still has the Marco motor, so I consider it vintage. Because it's got a motor that's not made in China. So, it's a step in the right direction. Um, the red fan foot you saw in the back, that's some generic fan foot I had. Um, it did not come with this fan. So, um, this is the older style one with this style knob, but it still uses the current day handle. Um, this one has been painted. The cord is kind of short because it's all tight, but this one's been painted like an electric blue. Um, it was like rusted and rotted out when I found it, so, and uh, since it's a childhood fan, I guess, because it came from, it's like a, it came from some family, so... Yeah, there is the Marco motor. I had painted it white because the motor was uh, com almost completely rusted, so it had to be, you know, painted. So it's painted nice white color. I tried to follow the scheme of the Lakewood. It, it, it's, the color scheme is pretty much identical to the KG3 that we you just saw. The white motor, the blue cabinet, you know. And the back grill, you, you know, it can see better days. It's a little... 
it's, it's got a lot of damage up close, a lot of chips, and it's very dried out. Um, but, you know, it can be treated eventually. I just, like I said, it's winter, and I don't really know how, to, how I'm going to fix that, but here's high. Medium coil is a little weak, um, so it runs a little slow on medium than it should. Uh, most 90s Lascos with this uh, Marco motor would be running a little bit faster on medium. I mean, this is pretty good, just a little slower than average, and here's low. Low is very low, very slow. I think the low and medium coils are a little bit underwhelmed. But also this this fan was extremely abused, like for real. Um, it was like thrown out two di two different times. Uh, sat in the corner of the garage for three years. That's why it was all rusted. Um, so I'm not surprised that that motor is just generally weak. Still runs strong and it still reads like I think 1.9 or 1.8 amps. Um, it's supposed to read two around two, but a little bit under isn't too bad. But run it up to high again. Been out on this one last time I checked it was really good. It's been a long time since they ran it, so it might just be, you know, crawling back from sleep. But yeah, it's still pretty good actually. Not bad. Next fan. I was a little too hard. I'm using my left arm, so that's why. All right, so here we have a 1987 Lakewood model P223 slash M. Now you're probably thinking, why is it slash M? Well, slash M because the fan was advertised as being in a mocha brown color. And yeah, these are a little bit harder to find Lakewoods. Um, and I was lucky enough to get one of the full size ones. As far as some third gens go, some of these can have the six screws and the small ones. I got one of the good ones, so. Uh, condition is pretty, um, pretty crappy, but you know, I mean, it's mainly just the grills. You take the grills off, the fan's pretty much fine. Um, the inside bottom lost a lot of paint. Um, the bottom of the fan's fine, um, shockingly. There's little paint specks all over here, like someone was using it for like, uh, I don't know. And the motor's missing some paint too, so this fan, yeah, just, and if you see some like splotches in the grills, that's because I tried the salon carrot and I didn't do it too well. So I'm going to redo it in the summer again. I have a method I'm going to try. Um, um, this motor had a lot of work done to it. It needed some new wicks, which is the only fan in my collection that needed new wicks. And um, yeah, it, it this fan's pretty beat up, but you know what? It still works. I got it for 15 bucks. From some random, never even heard of, like, um, antique shop. So, not bad. I used to have some draw when I turned it on. It used to take a minute. Um, but since it's been oiled a few times, it seems to run strong. I, I mean, the airflow is pretty good. But I'd say the consistency of the sound is amazing. The only thing I don't like about these fans is their distance from high to medium is way too much. It drops like over an amp, which is insane. Um, so this is like low speed on the, like, the last two fans. Because low on this is like dead silent. But compared to the last two fans, this one has some really nice consistency. Um, the last two were kind of like a like a rrr, 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 when they run because I don't know. Um, but this fan has really good consistency for running. I use it as a daytime fan because for nighttime it's too quiet. But it's 
good daytime fans. It's a nice, subtle breeze. It's not loud. And that's pretty much all it can do anyway. Here is low. That's about as loud as it gets. Or low. I would pull out my decibel meter and show you, but it's probably not worth comparing. Because all these fans that I'm about to compare, they're, they all sound different. I think it was pretty good. I like when I turned it on high, it was fired right up. No, no, look at that. No hesitation whatsoever. Spin down, the spin down, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. Like right now, I think that's pretty good. Um, the, I mean, I don't know. But see, the thing with this fan, it's like the longer, for some reason, like the longer you run it, the longer the spin down becomes it's it's weird but i do have to respect this fan a lot it obviously looks like it was gone you going through a lot i mean the grills are yellowed beyond belief um but i have actually had no malfunctions no issues with this fan whatsoever like when i go to run it it does pretty much as advertised like 100 percent. like some fans will rattle some fans are like oh my motor's gonna buzz and i'm gonna be annoying her Something like this, or I'm gonna be whatever, but this fan is just like I don't know. It's really satisfying to run. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh man, and it's really heavy too. For for a third gen, that's a little bit of a record breaker. What are we doing here with this cord? I don't really want to edit this. I mean I already have edit the intro. So Carl's like, oh my god, it's got blue blades. What is this? Yeah, this video, this fan's got like six videos on this channel. So if you have no idea what this fan is, you you need to you need to get out from under your rock. But um, the blue isn't really that good looking in a on backlit uh you know scene like where it is now. But if I were to put it in the window, the it it would look amazing. Um, this has only one speed, on or off. It's it has been repainted, but the fan was originally white anyway, so you don't really see the difference. And it's very light, which is interesting. Uh, that motor is very fragile. This back, this rear plate has shattered into three pieces one time. It's been it's currently being held by glue and some electrical tape. The electrical tape's on the outside. You don't see it. Um, the bearing doesn't stay in place. Uh, it needs thrust washers, like bad, like. bad and um the motor yeah the motor is just it it i don't even know how it's still standing to be honest with you um the grills have recently been re-cleaned so that's nice the wires are stiff like sticks from like a tree so um it, it needs some work in there the handle i did not do this and, um these screw holes not the screw holes but like the grill where the screws get held in they need to be remolded because they're just cracked and the screws just hold on to nothing that's why rattles good news is it doesn't rattle when it runs it's only but that is <laughs> pretty bad um here's a high or on or whatever the heck it's supposed to be pretty nice startup sound a ton of air it it's pretty deep it's not necessarily loud it's just really deep but the airflow is not even funny. And this fan has an amazing spin down. It took a long time to get it to have a good spin down, so that's why I don't really want to ever take the motor apart. Because I mean, look at that spin down. A condition like that, having a good spin down is just at least something to kind of fall back on in a fan with this type of condition. Um, what is going on here? This cord is really wrapped. All right, here is. Oh, by the way, this if you couldn't tell, this fan's already like extremely rare. So that's one little note to put on there. Now we're gonna put in another pretty rare fan 
I'd say not as rare as that one, but pretty rare. Let me move this. What are you doing here? So you're probably thinking, that's just an S to do three. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, this is the kind of weird in-between transition. So this is like a, a first gen S to do three, and then a second gen S to do three, and like they had a baby. That's that's what this one is. It's got the aspects, some aspects of a second gen, some aspects of a first gen. So, um, yeah. So the I call this the '77 model uh, from 1977 because they really made these for one year. Um, in 1975 and '76, they had the the terracotta orange S223s, which is what we all know, right? And I even own one. Um, then, in 1978, they launched the second-gen fans for the uh, P23 and the S23 lines, um, which had the second-gen blade set, which is on that K33 that I showed you earlier. And then, you know, um, so yeah, so in 1977, they made the first, they made one of these. They gave it a first-gen blade set, which is what that is, and then they kept... They kept the first gen sticker, the white one, and then um, the color is unique, and that's why they call this, that's why, you know, some people call it the 77 model, I am one of them, because this is not quite the same color as the second gen. The second gen has a lighter peach, not as strong as this one, um, so that's kind of what makes this fan kind of rare, kind of unique. It's its own color, and it's only really from one year. Um, there is, I'm sure someone has a rare one from 78, because, I mean, obviously 1978, that's 12 months, obviously somewhere they had to launch the second gen, it's not like it just launched January 1st, 1978 or anything, so obviously there might be some 1978s of this, you know, that were made, um, but for the most part, mo pretty much 90% of these are 1977, including this one, um, so yeah. And if you don't believe me, I believe Bo Mitchell yeah, on YouTube here, he has all three of these. He's got the first gen, the second gen, and he's got the weird 77 model. Um, all of them have different colors. I believe it's his video when he looks at the one of the S23s he has, right? And he compared the colors of all three of them. And you can see right in the video that this is not, a, not the same color as the second gen. But, um... How do you want to do that? I turn it around weird. This fan is mint condition. Um, not a slat missing, not a scratch on it. So this this motor was buzzing before, and this is a weird motor. This is not exactly white. This is more like the weird gray color ish. Um, like the the K thirty three that I showed earlier had a more white colored motor. This has got like a weird grayish color. Um. You know, it it's it's definitely something to be noted, but it's not really that important. So uh, this motor was buzzing when I got it. Um, I varnished it, and it stopped buzzing. So um, it is a second gen McMillan Square Stator, just like the other one and the other KJ3. This is a very common motor. Um, nothing really to say about it. And I'm getting out of breath here between looking the fan up and then talking. Here's high. It's really deep, very loud, loud and proud and deep. sleeping with this fan on low for the following week because I rotate the sleep fan once a week um, so and I really love that sound that's the perfect like liquid um, plastic blader low speed sound you can get at right there yeah. 
but yeah, this fan on high is really loud and it's like a really deep pitch. Spin down. No, this one's weird. So the spin down used to be crap, then it used to be really good, and then it was crap again, and now I, I have no idea what it is now. I guess it's good. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh. Okay, now that's really good. That's like the blue, the blue bladed galaxy, level over here. Definitely interesting. Interesting fan here. Um. Yeah, this one this one was on my wish list for a long time and I finally got one. It was expensive. Um but it was worth it. Mint condition. It was on my wish list, like really high up on the wish list for a long time. It's it's rare. It's not like I'm looking for a K33 second gen. You know, which I already have one. But um, you know, I'm just saying. Alright, so not quite done. I was going to do the Toastmasters, so let's do that. Now, the Toastmasters been sleeping overnight, so I don't want to move it because this fan rattles for no reason, randomly. So, it's been in this position on the carpet for the whole week, and I don't want to move it or bump into it. So, we'll just have to do it in the normal, like, fan position-ish. Actually, I'll just hold the tripod and go through it, so. So, this is my 1980 seven i think or 88 i don't really know i don't really care uh toastmaster model 4435c um so it's in coffee brown that's what that's what they call it i'm not like trying to be weird like that's that's what they advertise it as um it's got the banana blades it does have the edison or toastmaster whatever motor the silver edition one I believe I already showed this in the first clip, right? I don't know, because I recorded the intro for this video like three hours ago, so I have no idea what I did. Yeah, like I said, it rattles, so it's got a gum wrapper there, a tissue there. It's got this, this is a spare fan handle I found. And then um, this is a popsicle stick, so a lot of things. So it doesn't rattle. Um, or vibrate. So here is high. Their flow's okay, there's too much spread, but um, no, it's there. Okay, medium. Drop it low. So it makes that sound, and then after like maybe two or three minutes, see, it starts to go away. This is a really bad example of a vintage fan, like being on good performance. It's the only fan in my collection that acts like this. I don't know why he hates me, but it does. And it's not even that old. Yeah, that weird sound, it fades away after a few minutes. See, it's starting to fade away now. So, back up to high. Because the minute you turn the fan off, it's like, oh, and it kind of like stops. It's kind of weird, you know what I mean? The spin down is not great. Doesn't matter what the heck I do. I oil this thing. I don't oil this thing. I look at it. I, I, I mean, I oil it. Don't oil it. Look at it. Clean it. Who knows what else? I can give it a million dollars. Still doesn't have a good spin down. I don't know. I mean, at this point, I, I a part of me is just because you know. It's got a half size shaft, so like, what do I expect? And then the other part of me is like, well, it also has a really late blade set, so maybe the spin down is not supposed to be long, but I don't know. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, and uh, yeah.